Hi, it's Daryl Judy with Washington Farm Properties. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my morning this morning. And we have averted a huge crisis because of some skilled professionals in the industry who have helped us out. Last night, I got a, a call from a client saying that there was some weird thing happening and why did they have to wire money for a closing and it was not the right amount and so on and so forth. So immediately, I reached out to the title attorney and I said, something is not right. The title attorney looked into it, checked the very first thing this morning, and it turns out that someone had hacked into our buyer's email and had done identity theft and was getting information to wire money directly into a different account. The thing I think is interesting is, from the time that someone comes into your computer and they sit and they watch and they wait, I believe it's 10 months on average from the time someone breaks into your computer until they actually sabotage you and get the information. So because of communication and our buyer letting me know, me letting the attorney know and the attorney being on top of it, we're able to get the money stopped within 24 hours. It didn't leave the country. The FBI is over it. And um, my client is safe. So never, never, never wire anything unless you have very specific directions from the title attorney. You should use a trusted source like Qualia, that's a secured site. You have to be careful about Gmail, which is easy to hack, and you, um, Yahoo and AOL, all easy to hack. You want to use a secure website. So my personal, for example, WFP has a really strong firewall, very hard to get through, but you want to be careful how you do it. You want to make sure that you are changing passwords. You want to make sure that you're cautious, that you want to have a security guard on your computer. And you should always be suspicious, be very, very suspicious when it comes to money. Look at the emails because they'll change them. For example, instead of daryl.judy.wp.com, it might be daryl.judy1 at gmail.com, right? So very simple ways they go to do it, but you want to be careful. You want to make sure that if something sounds strange or the numbers change, or if someone's left on a copy, you're going back and forth a title attorney and a loan officer, and all of a sudden, they're not on copy and it's just you and the one, that's not right. So just a warning, we prevented something from happening. I personally will never give wire instructions, never, never, never. I give it to the title company, the buyer or the seller works directly with the title company. And just be careful because wire fraud is real and we just saved someone from losing $100,000 today because of the diligence. And they didn't even know that they were broken into. So it's possible someone could be in your email monitoring you for the past month, two months, 12 months, and you wouldn't know it. So be very careful when wiring money. That's the tip of the day. Daryl and Judy, Washington Farm Properties. Thanks.